long time ago you had a magnificent spark inside of you. You were inspired. Now... And now what? Now we've come to this. Watch it, it's slippery. Darren, hey, hey, whoa, where have you been? And why are you bleeding? It's not important. Is Laura in? Listen, I don't think it's a good idea right now, all right? Why not? Jameson's gunning for you. He's freaking out because the revisions aren't in yet. You sure you don't need a band-aid? Fuck Jameson. Really? Because there's a rumor going around that he's either going to fire you or fight you. But which one is it? I'm not sure, actually. Both rumors are pretty convincing. Listen, do you have it or what? Have what? The fucking script! What happened? I got busy doing other stuff. You mean working on your show? It's all part of the creative process. I need to work on my stuff before I deal with other people's bullshit. Yeah, but you haven't finished your stuff. You never do. So what's your point? My point is, you're screwed. Wrong again. The way I see it is, I'm the writer on this show of Forest Freaks. I'll just improv my way through this little jam and all the creatures will end up dancing around like idiots like they always do. And you realize we have to be on set in a few hours, right? I'm well aware of that fact, Colin. Why do you have to bring me down when I'm staying positive? I'm on a high-flying cloud, leave it alone. Look, I gotta get back down to wardrobe before Jameson decides to fight me too. I thought you said he was gonna fire me. I haven't committed to either rumor, but I want you to know, I'm rooting for you, buddy. And what's with that freaky doll? I understand. Uh-huh. For sure. Okay, look, I've got to go. That was Jameson on the phone. Okay, he's losing it down there. Have you got the rewrites? What? No. Hello? No. How are things? Why do we always jump right into business? The script was due last week. Okay, I've been covering for you and now it's put uh. me in an awkward situation. Why is everyone so stressed out about this? It's a fucking puppet show. Just have them sing a few songs about ABCs and fuzzy animals, and the kids will be laughing themselves silly until the next time they shit in their diapers. So you don't have it then? No. Then just what am I supposed to do with you? You look like hell, by the way. Thank you. Happy Valentine's Day. I kind of had an accident. That's why the leg is missing. I guess you can just say she lost in a battle. Got us a war after all. I just thought you would like this, you know? For your collection. Aren't you gonna answer the phone? It's just that ringing is kind of annoying. And I can't help but notice that you don't have a gift with my name written on it. Darren, you gotta realize that what happened between us is done. You can't keep doing this to yourself. You know, I've been meaning to have this conversation with you for a while now. We work well together, you and I. I guess what I'm just trying to say is I see us doing big things. Making a difference, you know? Television power couple like uh, Donnie and Marie. That's why I brought my show to you first, but it's been a month and you have- I'm seeing someone new. When did this turn into a conversation about us? God damn it, who is it? We've been together a few months now. But we just slept together last week. I know. You caught me on an off day that day. I've been meaning to tell you. It's good. Do I know him? Does it matter? Yes. It fucking matters. Can you please just spare me further humiliation and tell me? My queen. The actor? Yeah? You're banging the guy that plays Ben the birthday bear? He plays other roles too. The guy has 
one line to say, and 90% of the time he messes it up. I mean, how hard is it to walk on set and say, Happy birthday! Yeah, well, he has range. Ugh. That's disgusting. Garrett, where are you going? Spaceship is fixed. What's next, Mr. Jameson? We need that giant yellow elephant down here for the run-through. Why is he late? I don't know, sir. I swear to Christ, if he's drunk again, I would rip the trunk mm -hmm. off his head and shove it uh, right up I'll his ass. And get me that asshole Polly the Penguin down mm -hmm. here too, please. Mm -hmm. Derek Hackett, report to the front desk. Police are waiting. Okay. Derek Hackett, police are waiting. Happy birthday. No, no. Happy birthday. Mm. Happy birthday. Happy birthday! Derek, are you looking to get fired? Hey, Derek, you get what is cigarettes? your problem? Have you gone insane? Ouch. What are you doing? <laughs> Shit. Hey. You're so great, you son of a bitch. Oh. I'm going to be the greatest talk show host of all time. You are who I was, and another will be who you were. Success is just a byproduct of being a stubborn asshole. In order to be the you that you've always wanted to become, you have to put your chin up and wade through the shit. I love you guys. I just don't know what the hell it is you're trying to make. We're going to make a talk show. Something fresh and original. Are you happy? I guess so. Life is good. Why not be happy? That may work for some people. Not you. Maybe one day. I've got too much to do to be happy now. Why is it you can't think of anyone or anything else but your own show? There's no greater burden than ambition. I wish you could see what I see right now in this moment. <clears throat> you guys know we only make shit here, right? You ever hear of Deadly Elvis? Or the Tiger Girls Trip to New York? No? That's because they're shit.